it's not really generated anything that good. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Tex Wizard. Tex Wizard is a AI copywriting tool that helps create high converting marketing copy in almost no time at all. Tex Wizard is meant to create natural flowing high converting copy that you can include in all your social media posts, websites, email marketing newsletters, etc. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Tex Wizard and if you have any questions questions go ahead and drop them below i tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and i'll also leave a special discounted link that i will keep updated so you always get your money's worth for text wizard this is the text wizard dashboard they use a fairly flat design which is pretty easy on the eyes on the left you have your main navigation with documents recipes community recipes all the ai tools and then your general settings at the top it will tell you how many credits you've got left and used followed by all the previous previous generations you've done and then you've got all of your other account settings here. In the middle of the screen you can see a snapshot of all the templates this software uses and we'll get into a few of these down the line. Now I'm not going to go through every single template because that's a bit overkill and let's face it and let's face it no one has the time to go through each video. So I'm going to go through a few of the USPs that I would be using every single day if I was to use a tool like Text Wizard. We're going to start off with the tab My Recipes and if you don't know what a recipe is it's a pre-formed template that you can utilize in your long form editor so an example of this is let's say you wanted to create a recipe all about product reviews so you'll type in the name and then you will write a description of what this tool will do so this view of a product okay and then you should write what the outcome should be so to explain Explain what a product does. So the first example of an input should be something on the lines of review. I will be sharing everything, you, everything you need to know about X. And then the first example outcome will be things like X review, X pricing, X features, X benefits, X pros x cons and then my thoughts on x testimonials and then an example of this is this product is the best okay and then um i've never had such an amazing product etc okay and then you do create recipe close and then the recipes will fall over here now we'll now we'll go back and generate some examples a little later down the line but let's just get through some of these other features before we start generating under the community recipes you'll have other recipes created by other people and you can see someone already had the idea of of a product review generator so let's go ahead and do use this recipe and then type in something lines of good review for stream deck excel and then do generate and as you can see it's generated a quick little review for the stream deck moving on to social media ai tools you can generate things like the facebook post or twitter tweets so under the twitter generator let's go ahead and type something in like how to train a dog and then do generate okay so it's not really generated anything that good it's a very unusual let's go ahead and try generate something else uh, I guess this can be related um, about uh, this I guess this could be related to a tweet it's actually not too bad my input was how to train a dog to sit and this one says dog don't care how much you know until they know how much you care so it's kind of a bit actually do you know what no that's actually not very good i'm not overly impressed <laughs> you can do other things like highlight it and just start making it bigger changing it to a heading highlight it etc moving on to blog headline it's a pretty large area for a headline um so i'm not sure why but let's just say uh, we want a headline for uh, teaching a dog to sit and then we do generate yeah that was really not a very good output um how is that even related at all let's give it the benefit of doubt and try again okay i have no idea why it's generating stuff like this let's close it um and you can generate it in different languages however uh, the output really isn't that great and it's 
using our credits. So let's move down and let's try blog outline. And again, we're just going to use the exact same text and do teaching a dog to sit and then generate. Okay, so that's actually much better. This is definitely uh, more on the lines of what it should be generating. So let's go ahead and save as, and we'll save it as outline and then how to teach a dog to sit and save. Okay, and let's go ahead and do a blog summary. We're going to summarize in this article, we have spoken about uh, dog training. So let's see how it summarizes that and do generate. But yeah, so it's just finished generating and I have no idea what it's just done. Um, yeah, this is really not very good. Let's try it again, just generate. Okay, and it's just coughed out the exact same thing. Maybe I need a bit more longer text. So I'm just going to uh, grab this and I'm just going to paste this in and let's just do because and now let's do generate. Okay, so this is not too bad. It has summarized it, um, so I can't fault it on that. Uh, it's done a good job here. Okay, so it's got other things like meta tags, paraphraser, short article, long form article. So let's go ahead and do the long form article. So we want to provide information about the article we want to generate. So uh, we're just gonna do how to teach a dog to sit and the article outline I'll de ideally if you compare it to a lot of other uh, copywriting tools the copywriting tools have kind of spoiled us and told us to, uh, and does all of this stuff for us um, so the fact that we need to input our own outlines is kind of disappointing so again let's go ahead and let's type in step one preparing the playground let's do step two um, getting your dog's attention Step three, the motion to get your dog to sit. Step four, uh, the importance of repeating the action. And then, yeah, we'll leave it like that. And let's go ahead and do generate. Okay, so let's have a look. So instantly, for some reason, it's kind of reordered the outline, which again, isn't entirely ideal because if you need to start, you know, realigning everything, it, it just, it, it's just more time and it's, it's not as convenient. So let's just have, uh, I'm going to start off with step one. So introducing a new puppy to the family is a huge change for everyone. It comes with many responsibilities. One thing you need to consider is how to train your furry companion. Dogs love playing and most of our pets getting praised for doing a command correctly. Playing helps your pet to express their natural instinct so that they don't act out as overly excited. Playing is fun and exciting. Dogs love to be lazy sometimes and they fit perfectly into our human lifestyles. It's important to provide them enough attention, but it depends on their age and breed. A healthy medium puppy. No, not really. I don't, I don't think that's very good at all. Um, it should, although it knows we're talking about a dog, it doesn't really understand what's actually, what we're trying to achieve. Um, so getting your dog's attention so you've learned how to get your dog's attention and the next and final step is to teach your well here's an issue is that it's not the next and final step um so that's already an issue is to teach your dog to sit and a fun useful trick that will have your theory to actually teach your dog to sit there are many again no not really um yeah i'm i'm not overly impressed with this if you want to pause the screen and have a read by all means uh but yeah I, I personally i'm not a big fan of this and this has basically doubled um our credit usage so that's taken us about three thousand uh credits just to generate that which is kind of a waste um yeah i'm not i'm not overly happy about that so that was the long form article creator and i'm just comparing it to a lot of other ai copywriting tools um personally I'm actually just not happy with this tool. I feel like it's not even finished. Uh, I think they've just been a bit overzealous um, in creating the product and then launching it. At this stage, I feel this has been so poorly done in terms of the actual quality and the outputs that it's providing that they're trying to treat it as a cash generator. So if you want to know, uh, I'm actually going to end this review here because I just don't see the 
every tool I've used at this stage has just been really not very good. Um, so if you want to know what AI copywriting tool I use, I'll leave a link in the description below to my review and also a discounted link. Uh, I will leave the link for this software below, but I think this is the first time that I've actually just stopped midway during a review. I just, the tool isn't there yet and it's from what we've already established it's just not great so yeah i think i'm going to recommend for you just to leave this video at this stage <laughs> and check out my other reviews for copywriting tools but just for just to try and redeem redeem text wizard i'm going to at least see it through go through the other tools like sales and ecom when i get to this point in a video and i'm already quite negative about the tool um because just every step i do is isn't very good then the video tends to go downhill but let, you know let's just go with sales and see how it goes so we've got the elevator pitch so what am I pitching? So I'm gonna use the example it's telling me to use, which is running shoes. So I'm gonna type in running shoes and then do generate. Okay, so nice to meet you all. My name is Lucretia and I am a rep for an up and coming athletic gear company. You know, I'm glad I'm carried on because the elevator pitch isn't too shabby. Um, I wanna just do another product. So I'm going to do, let's do iPad Pro and let's do generate. Hi, my name is Tim and I'm excited to introduce the iPad Pro to you. I spent, okay, Okay, so I kind of get the angle that it's going for. It's it's targeting uh, artists and mu musicians. Um, however, some of the facts aren't quite on correct, like Microsoft versus Apple, etc. Um, but it has chosen a specific angle, which isn't too bad. But yeah, you'll have to tweak this quite a lot, and I'm not sure if the tweaking is. I'm not sure the quality of this text is worth uh, the amount of tweaking you'd have to do, as opposed to just writing it from scratch okay so finally we have the product description so let's go ahead and type in ipad pro and then we're going to do apple and then what makes this product unique well a large screen um fast performance quality picture fast response okay and then how much does it cost well we're going to go in 999 and then let's do generate big screen fast performance quality picture fast response it is not only beautiful but robust powerful and simple to use stereo speakers and dual microphones allows you to connect your headphones included for in-depth privacy while making a phone call or using siri touch id fingerprint sensor take it with you and go buy your new ipad air for only yeah no this is just stupid it's not it's it's just not done a good job and it's not even talking about the ipad pro so let's go ahead and do generate are you an apple lover if you are a previous iPad user then you'll love the iPad Pro. It provides high quality picture, fast performance and great speed to help you give the perfect picture. It also fits more comfortably in your hand and has a large screen for games, video and movies. With features such as rear camera, multitasking, gyroscope, oleophobic coating and stylish metal finishes, experience the iOS tablet with a multi-touch display. Get it at only 999 Now that is much better and um, I would be happy with that. I would actually be happy with that. Maybe a tiny bit of tweaking with some facts but I would actually be happy with that so I'm glad it redeemed itself at this stage okay moving over to my documents this is where you save all of your outputs and you can jump into them and start adding to them adding to them etc so what do I think of text wizard now this is actually one of those times where I have to say I'm not overly impressed they are a pretty new company so I have to give them a break However, I just spend £49 per month on the Pro feature, which funny enough, on the actual website, it says $49, which is actually less than £49. So they all they've done is just converted it straight to pounds um, rather than actually doing the currency exchange, which is not a massive issue. But again, it's still frustrating because like $49 is less than £49. So, you know... <laughs> I don't actually think the product is finished, truth be told. I don't think it's ready to be launched. Um, I'll probably be asking for my money back, truth be told. Um, it's not even one of those softwares where I'm like, ah, oh, okay, I'll, I'll let them. I, I just think overall it doesn't do what it says on the tin. Now, there was one or two.
two okay outputs. The outline tool was okay. The pitch elevator tool again was just below okay and the e-commerce product description was probably the best out of the whole toolkit the interface isn't too bad i don't actually mind it but truth be told comparing it to the a million other ai copywriting tools that i've demoed across my youtube channel text wizard really does not give you your money's worth especially when comparing to these other tools now i'm sure they'll probably watch this video or see other people other users responses and improve the tool and hopefully comment on this video letting me know they've improved it and i will of course give them a second chance to redeem what they produce today because i don't think it's customer ready so would i recommend this to people no not right now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time